Okay, I am back. I'm gonna go ahead and finish Somerset Zone Quest. And then that'll be that. And then Well, I ain't gonna I'll probably play something well I got stuff to do. Gotta get ready for tomorrow. I haven't packed my bag and I'm flying out to California tomorrow, so I'll have to do that. Um yeah, if I play anything later tonight, which I'm sure I will, or handle, you know, real life stuff, I'll play something else, and yeah, I'll take a break from ESO a little bit, just cause, yeah, like, god, there's so many games I wanna play, and ESO is just too large, so I feel like I should save this game for, like, when I have nothing to play, or don't know what to play, and I'll forget what I'm doing, sort of, but I guess I can kinda... Uh, the tribunal let's go back and look the videos. Warned. They will make preparations in case the efforts here fail. I doubt that even they can weather the resulting storm if the worst comes to pass. As I calculated, your actions will determine the outcome of these events. Mm, is that why you sent for me? In part. Determining the possible consequences of disparate actions becomes easier when studying the primary catalyst. You have a tendency to fill that role in almost all situations. What happened after the Sapiarchs failed to attune the diamonds? I made a deal with Vile to reach the Crystal Tower in Mephala, considering attuning the diamonds. A bold move. Still, I see the logic. Who better to send against their betrayer than the mortal who bested their plans at every turn? If Mephala agrees, you'll be able to assault the tower. I just wish I knew what Nocturnal hopes to accomplish. Nocturnal plans to use the Crystal Tower and the Sea Slodes Abyssal Pearls to remake reality. I'm not sure that's within the capability of the Crystal Tower, but if she uses my technique for siphoning life energy to supercharge the tower... Hmm. An interesting application of the magic of the Abyssal Pearls. It could work, I suppose. What do you mean? If Nocturnal uses the life force of Nern to increase the power of the Crystal Tower, she can then use the same technique to steal the energy of the Daedric Princes as she invades their realms. Infinite connections, infinite power. Ingenious. So what do we do to stop this? Gather your companions and meet me in the Dreaming Cave. We must contact Vile and Mafala so you can enter the Crystal Tower. Recover the heart of transparent law. And repair the tower crystal. That will require a burst of divine energy, though. We need divine energy to repair the transparent law crystal. Transparent law, the crystal at the top of the tower, is as much metaphysical as it is tangible. Only divine energy can reconnect the heart and make the crystal whole. Of course, Nocturnal is aware of this as well. Why does that matter? If Nocturnal performs the restoration, and once again merges the heart with transparent law, her connection to the tower will become unbreakable. She truly will ascend to an infinite state of being. So what do you suggest I do? You must enter the crystal tower and recover the heart. Then find a relic filled with divine energy and repair transparent law. Only then will the tower's innate defenses re-engage and repel Nocturnal's influence. In theory, anyway. Goodbye. The Divines were in a good mood when they made this place. In truth, I wasn't even sure it existed. This is our chaos. Raz is impressed. And truly frightened by the very strange sky. Ah, here comes your friend now. Just never remember, even up. you were never here. The Conclave isn't fond of visitors. For a place that doesn't like visitors, Raz thinks it's pretty busy, yes? Yeah, before I talk to you, see some mushrooms. Raz never had the urge to travel to Oblivion, or visit a magically displaced island. But now Raz feels like the cat who caught the farmer's prized turkey. It's good to see you safe, my friend. 
now. Tell Raz you have a way to save Somerset. We have a plan that involves a deal I made with Clavix by on Mafala. Raz knew that strange talking dog would lead you into trouble. Do you really think we can trust those Daedric princes? No, too late for that. Tell Raz the rest of your plan, yes? We're going to assault the Crystal Tower and stop Nocturnal. Foolish, but brave. Also very foolish. Raz has walked into certain death many times and emerged with his fur intact. Mostly. But Raz knows why you do this thing. Raz will not try to talk you out of this. He will instead give you happy news. You have happy news? Raz warned Queen Iren. She has promised to contact the leaders of the other alliances and assemble a mighty force to deal with this threat. Which brings us to the not-so-happy news. And what's the not-so-happy news? The mighty force won't reach Somerset for quite some time. Oh, Raz could tell you about prevailing winds, unusual storms, and other factors beyond our control, but it amounts to the same thing. We're on our own, my friend. Are you going to come with me to the Crystal Tower? Not this time. Raz must go back and lead the Divine Prosecution in defense of Somerset. If the Crystal Tower keeps exploding, we will evacuate the island and save as many people as we can. May the luck of Joan and Jod be with you, my friend. Goodbye. Oh, there's... I'll talk to them here. Okay. You are a terrific father to our daughter, Lathan. I'll never forget that. You were always Elderway's hero, Val. I envied the way she looked up to you. I'm sorry, Nathan. I should have been there with you, with her, at the end. You were trying to save her. I know that. It was just... Damn it. We need to win this, Val. How you doing, Val? Things will never be the same between me and Nathan again. But I think we understand each other a little better now. Funny how the approaching end of the world has a way of putting everything into perspective. Are you ready to do this? I've been a member of the Sigic Order for more years than I can remember. But this is the first time since my daughter's illness that I've been truly frightened about what's to come. So this is your first time facing the end of the world? The world ends all the time. It's just that I'm more accustomed to that being a personal event and not a shared experience. The world ended when the Right Master died, for example, but only from his perspective. If Nocturnal remakes reality... Let's go to the Dreaming Cave and make sure that doesn't happen. You have a way of instilling confidence, my friend. You're similar to the Right Master in that regard. If we can't have him at our side for this, I'm glad to at least have you. I just hope we can see our way through this. I'll meet you at the cave. This shrine, Val and I built it for our daughter after she died. High elves don't bury their dead, but we needed something to remember her by. She loved climbing this tree before the illness took her. I forgot how beautiful it was. Can I trust you to help us in this? With the Sigic Order and my mistress Mithala aligned toward a common goal, I'm feeling practically giddy with anticipation. But never fear. I'll re-establish contact with my prince when called upon to do so. I gave you my word. What did you hope to accomplish with the court of Bedlam? The court offered me a purpose after my life lost its meaning. Our princes promised to remake the world, turn it into a better place, a paradise, and they were going to elevate the Altmer back to their status as gods. Suffering would come to an end. Isn't that what Nocturnal still wants to do? Not in the least. Remaking the world to eliminate death and disease is one thing. Destroying everything to turn yourself into a being of infinite power. Well, that's something else entirely. Mathala will see that and provide the help you need. Goodbye.
Okay, so you're up here. Sijiks must be wine drinkers because this ale they make tastes awful. I brought Lathan back, and what does Valsarin do? Sends me off without a word or a thank you. So when do we head out to assault the Crystal Tower? No one tells me anything around here. We're heading to the Dreaming Cave. Hopefully, Val and Mephala will honor their end of the bargain. I knew I could count on you. You're always straight with me. I appreciate that. Still, the last time I went off to fight a Daedric Prince, there was a celebration. A party! <laughs> this time, it's just us. You're upset because no one is celebrating? What? No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I just mean back then there were more familiar faces, friends who I knew had my back, charging into battle with allies I trusted. There was a comfort in that. Here I'm practically a stranger. You can count on me. And trust me, I am grateful for that. You're kind of like me in a lot of ways, aren't you? An outsider caught up in things we don't fully understand? Whatever happens, when this is over, let me buy you a drink. Then we can have a proper celebration. Goodbye. Talk to me when you're ready to proceed. I'm ready. This is the moment of truth. Once we begin, nothing can stop the rush to the grand conclusion. Make sure you have everything you need before I activate the Dreaming Cave. I'm ready to begin the assault of the Crystal Tower. I'll lead you through the fields of regret to reach the Crystal Tower. Hey, that dog just talked. I can establish contact with Mythala. She's ready to appear if you're willing to lower the defenses. Oriandra, Valserin, assist me. Let us open a path and not keep the Prince of Secrets waiting. So the seal, the false god. I should have expected to see you. Lady Mafala, will you honor the agreement you made with this mortal? I am always true to my word. Now, send for the mortal who consistently avoids the tangles of my webs. We have much to discuss. You are strangely consequential for a mortal. In my calculations, I somehow overlooked your significance. And yet, that is worked to my advantage. For now, we have a chance to thwart Nocturna, and that will be something to savor. So you'll tune us to the Resolute Diamonds? I can attune the Diamond Keys, but that won't be enough to keep you safe. Using the secrets she stole from So the Seal, Nocturna has infused the Crystal Tower with boundless energy. It makes the tower's connection to reality increasingly unstable. What else do we need? I must turn the Resolute Diamonds into more than just keys. They must become an anchor, something to lock you to this reality. Without such a weight, you will be lost as the tower rapidly shifts from one plane to the next. And in exchange... Tell me what you want. Two trivial concessions, nothing more. First, just as Vile senses Hound, I want you to take my Earl Lathan into the Crystal Tower. And second, I wish a private meeting with So the Seal after reality has been saved. Do we have a deal? I can only speak for myself between the diamonds, as you have said, and Lathan can come with me. Two resolute diamonds, imbued with the power of Mephala. Now they merge into a single gem. One resolute anchor to serve as both key and safeguard. Do not lose this. 
Only its presence will keep you and your companions anchored to this reality. Thank you, Prince Mafala. Remember, if any of you stray too far from the protection of the Resolute Anchor, you'll be lost in the nothingness between realities. And know that I will be watching. Did she do that? I hate being spied on. Now it's my turn. Let me use the gift my master gave you, and I'll get you to the Crystal Tower. Get the heart and restore the crystal known as Transparent Law. But remember, you'll need a relic of divine energy to accomplish that. Like Bastion, Nathan, say what the fuck is going promise on? Promise me you'll keep them safe. I promise, Val. Oriandra, if I die saving the world, know that our brief time together has made me a better man. What are you talking about? Shh, 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 shh. It's all right to cry. I'll do my best to return to you. I promise. What just happened? What's that crazy knight talking about? Anyway. Well, it's fancier than I thought, at least from the looks of it. The loading screen, anyway. <sighs> wow. I bet Nocturnal knows we're coming. So much for the element of surprise. Where's Bile's hand? Has he abandoned us already? Pretty, I want to get a screenshot of like when the things are falling. Okay, more than good enough. Bitches running deep in there. Mess. 
we're depending on the actions of mortals. Oh, well, let's talk. Nocturnal dares much attacking my master's realm. But here you are, safe and sound. The Crystal Tower. At least it's the version that exists in the Fields of Regret. Now, I really need to get back to barking and biting Nocturnal's minions. You can enter the tower and reach Nocturnal from here. Well, that depends on how good Mafala's magic is. If you're attuned to the Resolute Anchor like she promised, then the doors to the Crystal Tower will open at your approach. If not, you'll more than likely die on the doorstep. Aren't you supposed to come with us? That was the plan, yes. But plans change when Nocturnal attacked my master's realm. Now Clavicus Vile wants me to repel those invaders and start preparing contingencies in case you fail. Understand, I have no contingencies, so try not to fail. What can we expect inside the Crystal Tower? I've never been inside a tower that straddles every reality, but I expect you're going to have to go up, up, up. If you do reach the Night Mistress, fight her once for me. We're going inside now. Remember Mafala's warning. Stray too far from the Resolute Anchor, and you'll get lost between realities. This place looks surprisingly intact. The interior and the exterior of such places rarely coincide perfectly. I pity the Sapiarchs that were present when Nocturnal unleashed this magic. See purple. Oh. Damn, I gotta lift it up. Damn, are they outside of the range of that? Fuck. I noticed some were mages, so I think we're gonna figure they'd stay far.
like a dead ghost and you're reading still. Committed. Oh, it's a cool skull. A dead end? Did we make a wrong turn? Wait, the tower. It's moving. Fascinating. It appears to be reconfiguring itself. Then let's get moving before the tower remakes this platform out of existence. I expect we'll see more evidence of this malleable nature the higher we climb. Look at this place. Part of the ceiling has fallen in. Yes, but what happened to the Shadow Sapiarchs? They were thick as crows on the lower levels. Stay! Stay back! Really? A walking volcano? I don't know how you entered the tower, but you must get out of here. She's still alive. We have to help her. No, stay back. The relic that protects me, it's failing. You can't help me. She's right. Look how she's starting to fade. Please, before I am lost, tell me. What happened? I deserve to know why the tower has done this. Nocturnal is taking control of the crystal tower. How do we send the tower from here? Nocturnal? So I am to die as a pawn in some game played by a Daedric Prince? I'm sorry, but you've reached a dead end. The explosions. The exit is blocked by debris. There's no way to move it. You should turn back and flee. Please, we have to keep going up if we're going to stop Nocturnal. The old ballista. If you could get it working again, it might be strong enough to punch through the debris. Oh, gods, the relic. I'm... I'm not ready to die. I'm sorry. I don't want to die. Let me help you. Clear your mind. It's so hard to concentrate. Think of your loved ones. Picture their faces and my magic will help you. I see them. The pain is fading i can see she she's gone her last moments were peaceful i saw to that the magic that held back the shadows is gone they'll be upon us before we know it damn i like lathan a lot What do we do here? Oh, we just keep going up. Nothing in here. The dying sapiarch was right. That is a ballista. It's not broken, it's just missing a few parts. Uh, look around while I get the rest of it back in working condition. All right, well. Oh. 
enemies out of it too. Yeah, the other thing, I hope it counted because I didn't see it fade like the bolts did, but it's not there anymore, so I assume I'm good. So I hope we weren't too far from him, because weren't we all supposed to stick together? That should do it. Just need a crank, a rope, and some ballista bolts. Here's what I was able to find, all that of it. That should work. Let's blast the way out of here. Cool. Well, that's how to clear a path. I need one of those. Curious. From the opening in the ceiling, it appears that we're no longer realm. So that's what they meant when they said the tower was in every realm at the same time. That's a cool move. Picking me up with that, tossing me down. Oh shit, you know what I forgot to do? God damn it. better to do it earlier. I was gonna do that. Use that. Two hours. Fuck. I don't know if I have two hours left. Or the things to do. Technically it was only 30 minutes I've done. So even if... I guess it also saves to 
but ow. So many books. Yes, that must control the gate across the chamber. It appears to require a key, however. Down there, that looks like a likely candidate. Shut up, Vea. No, you mustn't do this. You can't reason with crazy, Lathan. Besides, we've got company. How observant, Knight. Your quest ends here. Enough! Just hand over the damn key! She's just trying to slow us down. Meet up at the gate pedestal. Okay, so I guess we have the key. I fit those gauntlets in an urn. Try the key pedestal. She did something to the controls. The gate won't open. We must be nearing the pinnacle of the tower. That's why Nocturnal sent her champion to slow us down. Nocturnal's Earl damaged this mechanism beyond repair. Even if we had acquired the key, I'm not sure it would have opened the gate. Do you know how we can get through the gate? Sapient magic is powerful. But not as powerful as the magic of the Sigic Order. Since we don't have the key, I can try to overcome the damaged mechanism and then follow after you. How are you going to do that? I can operate the mechanism manually from here. Then, once you and Darian are through the gate, I can teleport across and make it to the other side before it snaps back shut. All right, open the gate. you here all of you I wondered if you'd actually show yourself instead of just projecting menacing images a closed gate won't save them Lathan no but this will keep you what? busy for a time no! where'd they go is Lathan gone no that should keep her busy for a short time at least um, why are you glowing? I was overconfident, I'm afraid. Valserin always said I was too sure of my own abilities. 
I just assumed I'd be able to get back to the protection of the Resolute Anchor before I was unmade. Pity. I would have preferred a more heroic ending. This was your plan all along? I had to do something to get rid of Nocturnal's champion. At least for a little while. Beyond that, I really did hope that a moment outside the Anchor's protection wouldn't be fatal. Just something else you can tell Valserin I was wrong about. So that's it? There's nothing we can do? You can stop Nocturnal. I'd really rather not see you and the Knight wind up with this fate. And if all goes well, you can tell Valserin that... that I'm sorry. Now hurry! Nocturnal's Earl won't be gone long. Thanks for giving us a fighting chance. I should be thanking you. You had no reason to trust me, yet you did. And you gave me a chance to see my wife. To reconcile with her, in a way. Now go and beat Nocturnal. I have faith in you. What should I tell Val? Tell her I'm going to go be with our daughter. Tell Val that we will... We will wait for her. We should, we should keep moving. God damn, There's dude. more we can do here. A little teary idol. Like, why? Why? I didn't think this game would ever do that to me. I'm not like crying, right? But like, <laughs> left eye stinging a little bit. Fuck. It's fucked up. Can I even kill this person? I wonder if that thing was protecting her. Or is it just you? Nocturnal's realm. Gotta be nearing the top of this damn thing. The fuck? I think it was like spazzing out. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that bitch, what I should have done in the first place. I really thought she was gonna change for like the better. Sorry for her mom. My mistress can't be interrupted. Her work is too important. Give me the damn Dawnbreaker back. Come and get it. I'm gonna kill this bitch.
the snow in Vardenfeld, bitch. Darian, I swear to God, if you die right now, that worked. I mean, I mean, I mean, of course it worked. I just need a moment. Nocturnal's Earl was wrong. Meridia's power—it's not gone. Her magic remains strong and vibrant. The vessel, the last light of Meridia. It's me. The vessel, the last light. What do you mean? I finally understand everything Meridia told me. Her power, it's inside me. And with it, I can remove the corruption from Dawnbreaker. I can fill the relic with divine energy again. So the Sil said we needed a relic with divine energy to repair the transparent law crystal. Then this is even better. You can use the restored Dawnbreaker to save the world. No. I won't be around to see it happen. I finally understand. I'm the vessel of Meridia, her champion. But you're the key to stopping Nocturnal and saving reality. Darian, what are you saying? I'm saying you've got this. Whenever a threat appears, you bring the champions together. You find a way to win. And I'll be at your side for this one final battle. He's going to turn into a fucking sword. I originally expected. Darian, what are you doing? I'm returning the last of Meridia's power to the blade, so you can stop Nocturnal. I wouldn't do this for anyone else. Thank you. For everything. <laughs> of course, do I wouldn't I expect they kill this is a fucked up. Kill you so hard. I just got Darien back, you bitch. Breaker. Like right now, or do I have to wait till? Just use it. Oh, uh, wait for it to charge. I see. Oh shit. Finally, my true purpose. I will not fail you, mother. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Charge. Well, you really fell hard.
living this with me. I gotta like zoom out so I can fucking see all of you. I was like. No. Get out. I just noticed I'm looking at the wrong health bar. I'm looking at Nocturnal's health bar instead of Shadow Vega's. Shut up, Bastion. Okay, I'm trying to uh, do the trans... Oh, there we go. No longer keep me out. Are you here, my friend? You, you did it. I knew it. Transparent law, it's a hole again. I didn't think that was possible. And you stopped Nocturnal. You're back upon Somerset, my friend. The tower itself, it reformed. But, but where's Darien? And Lathan? Darian sacrificed himself to restore the Dawnbreaker so I could repair the Tower Crystal. Of course. When you restored the Tower Crystal, it most likely expelled Nocturnal back to her own realm. I'm a little concerned that I was able to walk in without a key, but we can figure that out later. Now tell me, what happened to Lathan? Lathan gave his life so he could reach the top of the tower. Lathan. I'll, I'll mourn for Lathan later. I'm just glad he helped you. He would have made our daughter proud. For now, you have to tell Sothisil what happened. Then we can inform Somerset that the island, the world, is safe again. Let's go. We didn't even talk to that Alma, whatever. I thought these were all like all three. Because I'm pretty sure this is the third queen, like the third god's like island or something, Somerset. But we don't even talk to her at all. He's dealt like with her. I don't know. As I predicted, your efforts were successful. A slight chance is all probability requires. There is no such thing as impossible odds. You are proof of that. Transparent law was made whole by the power of the Dawnbreaker. Was that Meridia's plan all along? Perhaps, perhaps not. Your perseverance paid off, however. You never gave up even when the darkness was unbearable. And because of that, the Crystal Tower is safe again. We lost friends along the way, though. Life and death. It's all part of the ongoing circle. As long as you remember them, they will never be forgotten. Will Nocturnal just try again? It took Nocturnal hundreds of years to put all the pieces of her plan into place. And you wiped it all out with a single thrust of the Dawnbreaker. There will be other plans, I'm sure. But this particular threat is over. So what happens next? Next? Every action we take can tip the balance of the flow of time. Bask in the moment and realize that you have done well, my mortal friend. You have saved the Crystal Tower, saved Somerset, saved reality itself. Even I could not have done better. For now, I must attend to other matters. Damn, everything goes down though. Weapon damage. Well, it's only for this one, right? Because when I swap it. Where's the weapon damage?
We still have... I'm afraid we still have work to do. While the Crystal Tower is protected against Daedra, any mortal can now walk right through its gates. We must convince the Sapiarchs to gather allies in order to defend the crystal-like law. I can convince the Sapiarchs to accept help. It will take an influence far stronger than you and I. Of that, I'm sure. We'll call a meeting of Somerset's most influential okay. leaders. Perhaps with such a force behind us, we can persuade the Sapiarchs to see reason. And if they don't agree? We've already seen the devastation that's possible when the tower falls into the wrong hands. And the recent attack by Nocturnal only reinforces the need for greater protection. I want you there to help plead our case. Will you join us? I'll help convince the Sapiarchs if I can. Go and tell Oriandra of my plan. She'll know which parties to contact. I'd also like to ask Sotha Seal to join us. His support would be extremely helpful to our cause. Are you holding up? Honestly, I haven't yet had a moment to process all that happened. There's still so much to be done, and perhaps that's for the best. The time to grieve can wait. For now, we must ensure the welfare of Somerset. Goodbye. It's good to see you alive and well. Word has already spread about your daring exploits within the Crystal Tower. It's still a little hard to believe, truth be told. Of course, there's so much left to do. I already have a list as long as my arm. Val needs you to summon a council of influential Somerset citizens. That doesn't sound good. Is there another crisis I have yet to be informed about? Crystal Tower's wards have weakened. We must convince the Sapiarchs to gather allies. I'd almost rather deal with another crisis than try to convince the Sapiarchs. Still, it will be done. I'll even make sure to invite the Proxy Queen. Her palace should make for a suitable meeting place. Neutral ground and all that. Where can I find Sotha Seal? Val said wants him to join the council as well. Sotha Seal's in his study, preparing to depart. He never seems to stick around for very long. I suggest you hurry if you want to catch him. I'll meet you in front of the Proxy Queen's palace in Alinor. Meet me there after you talk to Sotha Seal. Good job, blacksmithing. Here you are again. I thought such an outcome likely. Diagram. Already known. The time has come for my departure. I've always felt a sense of peace in our tale, but also discomfort. A consistent dilemma within me which seems to have only grown. I'll be glad to get back to the Clockwork City. There's much to do. Much to do? While you confronted Nocturnal, I worked within the shadow of your efforts. Negotiations with both Clavicus Vile and Mafala were held, and a compromise was decided upon. The two have agreed to a compact, an end to their direct meddling. So does that mean they won't make trouble for us anymore? Knowing the nature of Daedra, I doubt that shall be the case. However, any direct interference within Nern should cease, while the terms are met, of course. As for Nocturnal, it seems she's returned to the shadows. Do you think Nocturnal will strike again? Perhaps. She likely contemplates her next course of action even now, given such a defeat. It may be centuries before she makes another attempt. Then again, it could be days. Such is the chaotic nature of the Daedric Princes. Before you go, Val wants you to join a council she's, per she's putting together. I must decline. Valserin may see me as an ally, but to Somerset, I am a foreign interloper, an enemy of the state. My participation would not be welcome. The need for my presence has come to an end, and so I must depart. Thanks for all your help. And so the gears turn once more, ever changing, yet ever the same. With you always in the center, it seems. 
I take no pleasure in such distractions from my work. Still, I would not dislike it if we spoke again. Farewell. Enjoy your time in your little city. There he goes. I was going to say, is he going to just stand there? Finally, you arrived. We were able to gather everyone together, but they've already started the meeting. Valserin tried to make them wait, but the Sapiarchs demanded to know what was happening. How's the meeting going so far? To be honest, not great. Even the Proxy Queen is hesitant to accept our request. As always, everyone's so worried about proper High Elf decorum that they refuse to see reason. I'm just not sure how we're going to win this one. We'll go inside and see if I can help. Everyone's gathered in the council chamber. You should go inside. Did she just appear? I didn't see her. I just like ran right into her. You can't make such demands. The Sapiarchs are the keepers of the Crystal Tower. This is about more than the College of Sapiarchs, Lana Teal. If Raz could intervene, perhaps we should hear from our newly arrived friend. We concur with Razendar. Let us hear what the adventurer has to say. The Sapiarchs recognize your bravery on our behalf in Lalandril and within the Crystal Tower, but there is nothing you can say that will alter our thinking on this matter. Without the wards that keep people out, you need a new way to protect the tower. So Valserin claims. If this is true, the College shall institute new measures to protect the tower. That is well within our capabilities. The Sigic Order is responsible for all that has happened. Why should I trust them now? The right master was in control of his actions. And that's supposed to convince me that the very leader of the Sigic Order was compromised in such a manner. We Sapiarchs have protected the tower for centuries without incident. Why should I trust the Sigics now? Without the actions of the Sigic Order, Crystal Tower would have fallen to Nocturnal. Be that as it may, the Sapiarchs will continue to do as we always have. We shall protect the Crystal Tower. Entrusting that responsibility to anyone else is just far too dangerous a risk to take. Safety arcs can't protect the Crystal Tower alone. That's your opinion. You are a newcomer. I have no reason to believe that you have Somerset's best interests in mind. For all I know, you and the Sigic Order wish to use the Crystal Tower for your own purposes. Think you're making a mistake. Our friend has proven their mettle time and time again. Raz thinks you should hear about these deeds. Oriandra, admit our guests now, yes? What are you up to, Razendar? I will vouch for this adventurer. While I was blinded by prejudice and hate, their actions saved Shimmerine. Sapiok, you know me. My son rejected the Queen's decree and suffered the consequences. 
This newcomer saved Relenville. Go bring in everyone. Finally, Raz must add his voice to the chorus. No one has served our queen and our island as well as this adventurer. Not even Raz. We have heard enough. We accept that the adventurer is trustworthy. Sapiarch Lanatil, listen to what they have to say. I apologize for my assumptions. It's clear you've done much good for Somerset and its people. The protection of the Crystal Tower has been the Sapiarch's duty for time immemorial. To change that now feels like we failed. <laughs> we wait here. Crystal Tower is protected into the future so we don't fail again. I can't deny the truth of your words. Very well. Henceforth, the Sapiarchs will accept outside aid in order to best protect the Crystal Tower. I'll begin preparations immediately. However, I still refuse to allow the Sigic Order to participate. As long as you have a plan for protecting the Crystal Tower. I promise we will work with the Proxy Queen to make sure the Crystal Tower remains safe. I'll begin preparations immediately. We'll even allow the Divine Prosecution and the Mages Guild to participate in these efforts. Sounds like a good idea. Raz is sure there are many more details to work out, but for now, this one just wants a very strong drink. If you would wait a moment, my friend, I'd like to talk privately. Thank you for helping me win this last battle. While the Sigic Order will not be among those protecting the Crystal Tower, we will continue to observe from afar. And now, it's time for us to depart Somerset. You're leaving, is that wise? We never meant to take such a direct role in events. We're observers, watchers. We lend a hand, guide fate, but never directly shape it. Besides, I need to return to Arteum and take up the mantle of Right Master. At least for a little while. The Conclave made you the Right Master? On an interim basis until we get beyond this crisis and can make a decision for the future. In the meantime, I want to atone for what the Right Master and Lathan did. I owe Somerset that much, at least. So that's it. You're attuned to Arteum and have a connection to the Sigic Order now. The portal will always be open for you, and you'll always be welcome on our hidden island. Thank you. Remove your furry seat from our throne. After all Raz has done for Queen and Country, you would deny him this small comfort? Why Cousin Iren tolerates you, you'll never understand. Hmm. Raz could get used to such a seat. Metaphorically speaking, of course. This one would prefer a throne with far more padding. But enough of such talk. Today we celebrate your victory. From newcomer to savior of Somerset. Quite the feat, yes? Did you bring all these people here? Raz thought of many different plans once he heard of this meeting. He is glad the first turned out so well. His other plans, well, there is no need to dwell on such unsavory details. This one never doubted you could do it, Fireclaw. Thanks, Raz. Actually, Raz may have doubted you a few times. Or many times. But he apologizes for that. After all, you have now proven yourself most capable. And of course, no heroic deed is complete without a reward. You mentioned a reward. Raz did indeed. On behalf of Queen Irene, this is for you. Ironic how Somerset was saved by one of the newcomers it so distrusts. This is a good lesson for the High Elves, yes. Maybe now they'll realize that change is not so bad after all. Enjoy yourself, my friend. Raz certainly plans to. There it is. We would have it back now. So tense, your majesty. Must be this uncomfortable throne. Perhaps Raz could suggest a most comfortable cushion upon which you could sit. Such a cushion is much too lumpy for our tastes, Cat. Damn, she is he has told her to sit on his lap. So, this book just magically appeared in front of you? 
I know what I saw. I was upstairs watching the ceremony, and I turn around for but a moment, and then this book just... just suddenly appears. Look, the palace is magically sealed by some of the finest mages in Somerset. There's no way someone just teleported a book in here. Maybe it's a cursed relic, then? I... I didn't touch it. It's still on the seat upstairs. Maybe we should ask the Sapiarchs to look at it? Never trust the data prints if there's anything I learned from all this that in a nutshell used to think I had a purpose. A part play in the grand scheme of things, I suppose I did sort of the way things turned out. It wasn't all the way I imagined. Maria said I was her vessel. Guess my fate was sealed from the moment she brought me into existence. And here I am back in the colored rooms. I thought when I gave my energy to restore the sword. And I did that for my friend. Not for Meridia, I thought that was the end of me. I'm back though, but this time is different. My light, it's fading. I can feel the darkness getting closer, pressing in. I expect that once the light goes up, that will be the end. I need to tell you something about Meridia. She's a deceiver. She promised that if I served her faithfully, I'd earn my freedom. She never told me that freedom was just another word for the void. Don't trust her. Don't trust any of the Daedric princes. Not ever. I found peace though. Meridia gave me a chance to see the world and those I care about one last time to save those I loved. I'm grateful for that at least. Wish I had a chance to say goodbye to everyone, to Scordo, to Gabriel. Gods, I'll miss them. But most of all, Gizette too. I don't know if they'll understand how much they truly meant to me. Perhaps we'll see each other again in another place, another time. Probably won't be the version of myself that's writing these words though. That me will be gone. I can live with that. I only wish I could have spent more time with everybody. Had a few more adventures, ordered those drinks we always talked about. Hope my friends find peace, happiness, and love. They deserve what I could never have. If anyone else finds this book, know that I will never forget those I named herein. And if you find them, and I pray that you do, tell them this. Protect the ones you love, hold them close, cherish their every moment. Make them laugh and laugh with them. Smell together and never ever forget that the moments you have are so very precious. Oh, and tell them not to forget me either. I mean, I am a legend as far as I know. The polite, handsome, and humble knight, Darian Gautier. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Too bad a game. I'm, I'm teared out. You ain't gonna get me that time. Let's just increase the spell resistance. That one ain't really worth it. So if I equip it, does it just give me the better ring? Or the less valuable ring? So sad, feels so empty now. So are these done now? No. Elemental Rage still getting there. The Knight's Champion. Had to get that as well. I should increase this one, black clothing as well, maybe. Do it working. Yeah. 
So for the zone quest of this little three, because this is technically done now, because, uh, so I know I still have the, so originally, I was looking at this, and so, I feel like, I'm including Balmora objective with Morrowind, I feel like, I see why they wanted you to do this, now. But, uh, yeah, Morrowind, I feel like Clockwork was maybe the my least favorite, but I had Sotha Sil, which I love, who I love, and now he's better, he's the best. I'm sad we didn't get to meet the third girl, or whatever, the third, the, the trio. Then Morrowind, but yeah, I think Somerset was my favorite, especially toward the end. I don't think, I think I had a pretty weak start, but I liked it. But yeah, so there's this, and I technically, so this is, I guess, the clear step-by-step -step that this dude did. So I still, I'm going to go back when I come back and start from, like, I think the Stormhaven stuff, basically. And then Riven Spire. I'm going to check uh, Stros Makai, Travel Dagger, Poly Long, Accept Soul, Fox Hood Figure, Trim Out 4. So Strauss Mackay, let me look look at that real quick. Because Strauss Mackay, if I'm correct, is somewhere. Um, Conumbra. Not sure where Strauss Mackay is at. Oh, I can just go here, right? Okay. So I did do this one. That's the wrong thing. Strauss Makai. So Strauss Makai goes in that. So yeah, I'm Stormhaven, pretty much. Let's do that. Then do Catwell Silver. And then Catwell's Gold. And then I want to go do the DLC. So Craglorn. It's basically up next. Let me open this up. Well, not technically, because I still have a lot to go through with all those. Then I would do Craglorn. Then Imperial City. Then Ore Thingy. I think this is just a dungeon. Anyway, yeah, so then the Thieves Guild. So yeah, I got a lot to do before I continue the next little whatever. Which is like the third part, I think the dragon one. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you to everyone who may be watching. Have a good day, and your night, and penis.